you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, make sure that y'all know. Uh, y'all can follow me uh, at social media. Uh, official Andy Feds on YouTube and Andy Feds Comedy on uh, social media and stuff. Um, as I said, my name is Andy Feds, and I'm going to uh, just be real with y'all, you know. If y'all clap, you know, that's fine. If not, it's a hate crime. Um, I am the very first HIV positive born stand up comedian. All right. Oh, yeah. So, uh, follow me, ladies. I'm, I'm kidding, this kid, my wife right there. Don't do that. <laughs> She'll fuck you up. <laughs> she didn't say joke. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, being born with HIV, like, it, it was, it was, I didn't have a lot of things that was relatable, you know? Um, I didn't have a lot of things that I can identify with, you know, uh, cause we never had things like Sesame Street characters that was like HIV positive, or like a president that was HIV positive. So it wasn't like until like the late 90s, early 2000s, that I was like finally able to find something I can identify with. Y'all remember uh, that song by Destiny's Child? Pills, pills, pills. Don't act like y'all don't remember. Can you take my pills? Can you take my morning pills? That was my shit back then. Don't act like y'all don't remember shit. I, I love telling people that I'm HIV uh, positive because y'all y'all felt that little tension there. It was like mom just got beat up by dad at the Thanksgiving dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> like I love telling people I'm HIV positive because it's like I always get that weird vibe, you know. And people don't understand that it's almost 2019 and we we got a lot more research about it, you know. We 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 understand things about it. Like it's it's not scary anymore. Like if you think about it, HIV is not scary anymore. It don't even sound scary. Like think about it. I tell people all the time, hey, hey my name is Andy Feds. I'm HIV positive. Like there's no fear there at all. There's no threat there. Now like these other diseases, uh, these other diseases sound a lot scarier. You know? Think about it. Like chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes. I don't know about y'all, but like don't those sound like reject names, Pokemon characters? <laughs> Like imagine you walk into your kids' room and they watch a Pokemon and you hear, Oh right! I caught Clumini! It's like I don't even want that go wash your hands. <laughs> or like Dragon Ball Z, gonorrhea. <laughs> um I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all. I didn't uh, I didn't really see myself being a comedian growing up, you know. Um to be real honest with y'all, I wanted to be like a professional wrestler. Um, but my grandmother wasn't feeling that, you know, because, you know, wrestlers back in the days, they used to bleed and shit like that. But, like, it, it, it messed me up. Like, I had all these ideas. I had all these ideas of, like, being a wrestler, you know? I was going to call myself the virus. <laughs> and y'all know, y'all know, like, uh, wrestlers always have these, like, dope-ass theme songs that they come out to, you know, like, interesting. things. I was gonna come out to Big Shines, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> and like, um, no. Imagine like during the during the match, you know, after I win, you know, after I pin, you know, one, two, three, uh, I was gonna have like the most epic post-match celebration ever. I was gonna uh, reach under the ring, grab my bazooka cannon and square cowboy jelly at the audience like R. Kelly at the Children's Museum. <laughs> You know, I, I always um, I always like to you know let the audience know you know a little bit about myself. Um, just, you know, so we can feel comfortable. You know, like I said, we family, family. So um, I was born in uh, a scary part of Chicago, known as Chicago. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and there's like so many things that uh, like I. I, I I'm new to Vegas, you know, me and my wife, we moved here like last year, and like there's so many things, I used to come out here every year, and there's so many things that's different about Vegas that I'm not used to anymore, like, y'all got elevator, y'all got escalators on the strip? Shit pissed me off, it took me 45 minutes to cross the damn street. <laughs> and like, I don't know about y'all, but like, I turn into a middle-aged white woman whenever I see somebody jaywalking on the strip while I got like some shoots and lines up in this bitch, I'm like, officer, there is a nigga jaywalking on Trump Cannon and Las Vegas Boulevard. <laughs> Uh, he was wearing uh, some jeans and a Golden Knights jersey and all that's suspicious because niggas don't even like hockey. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, what's going on in the, in the world today? Oh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby went to jail, y'all. Bill Cosby went to jail. Dr. Hustle, do y'all understand that? Dr. Hustable went to jail. Do you, what, what do y'all think? Y'all think he did it? Y'all think he did it? Y'all don't think he did it? What? <laughs> <laughs> You see, I, 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 don't, I don't think I don't know if he did it or not. I, I have my speculations. 
but I don't know if he did it or not. Like, <laughs> I have my ideas. Like, y'all remember seeing the uh, the last Bill Cosby stand-up special when he was sitting down the whole time? <laughs> and then it went to commercial, and that nigga was still sitting down. I'm like, did anybody let this nigga know that the camera's rolling? <laughs> and then my friend had to tell me, she was like, oh, Bill Cosby's only sitting down because he's old. Oh, shit. Bill Cosby was saving his energy for sleeping Sarah in his dressing room. <laughs> For resting, resting uh, Rachel, <laughs> napping Nancy, and shit. <laughs> Man, like, like I don't know, like I, I'm still, I'm, I'm neutral to the situation, cause like there were what they say, like 30, 40 women. I, I don't know how many it was, but it was like it was a lot of them. And I don't know if y'all saw them women, but like I don't know if you did, cause like half the women weren't even fuckable. <laughs> Like did y'all did y'all see did y'all see the woman that came through that courtroom? It was like Howard Stern came through there, Caitlyn, <laughs> Larry King. I'm like Larry King. Ain't no fucking way Bill Cosby fuck Larry King. <laughs> Rubbing chest hairs, whispering sweet nothings into his ear, putting his pudding pop on his lips. <laughs> oh, <it's not> <laughs> Man, um. I stopped going to church because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know if y'all, like, I know we got, like, you know, two, like, I'm not, not black people here, but I don't know if y'all have been to, like, a, a black church, and, like, they got this, they got this, like, sneaky way of trying to hustle your money. They call it, like, tithes and offering. I don't know if y'all heard of that. And, um, they always find, like, Sneaky ways to get your money. Like, they always get you in the mood, you know. Um, they always sing your favorite song at the church. They're like, the Lord is blessing me right now, right now, right now, oh. And then they'll bring out the lead singer. How many of y'all can say that the Lord is blessing you? <laughs> How many of y'all can say that the Lord is blessing you? <laughs> he woke you up this morning. <laughs> That deserves five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that deserves ten dollars. <laughs> if I can put up five dollars in the air, you should put up a ten. <laughs> if I can put up ten dollars in the air, you should put up a twenty. <laughs> Don't be stingy with the Lord. <laughs> he accepted every credit. Now, <laughs> hey guys, that's my time. My name is Ben. Oh,